finally a bikini update video. I got a ton of new bikinis in. Let's try them on. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, my name is Rose. My pronouns are she, her. If you're here for plants, it's totally fine to skip this video. I finally have some new bikinis to try on, like this one, which is fitting very weirdly, but we'll get to that. I make these bikini videos because I want you to feel better in your skin, in your body, as it is right now. I used to have an eating disorder and hated my body for so many years. Therapy has helped me to recover and I'm so, so happy and grateful that I learned to accept and then love my body. And that has led me to here, showing my body on the internet without hesitation. I choose to do this to help people, especially women, see normal bodies and hopefully in the process help you feel a little bit more confident in your skin. And that is why I'm very happy to say that this is a paid partnership with BetterHelp. Whether you're struggling with body image issues or anxiety like me, or just having a hard time, therapy can help. It teaches you tools to be better equipped to handle and hopefully enjoy your life. BetterHelp's mission is to make therapy accessible. And this is important because finding a therapist can be hard. BetterHelp is an online platform offering therapy from home by qualified therapists. It's easy to sign up and get matched with a therapist. There's a link in my description. It's betterhelp.com slash yoga and plant. Clicking that link helps support my channel, but it also gives you a 10% off your first month with BetterHelp so you can connect with a therapist and see if it helps you. And if for some reason you don't really vibe with your therapist, it's very easy to switch to a new therapist at no additional cost. Therapy is one of the main reasons why I'm now confident in my body and able to make these videos and to show that we do not have to hide our skin. We can show it if we choose to and want to. There is nothing wrong with fat or skin rolls or cellulite or mosquito bites, which I have a lot of right now. All bodies are worthy, including yours. So if you are struggling, consider online therapy with BetterHelp. You can use my link in the description, betterhelp.com slash yoga and plant. Thank you again, BetterHelp, for supporting this channel. Now let's get back to the bikinis. Firstly, I wanted to explain, I have been looking for sustainable, size inclusive, created in Europe, cheeky bikinis, because I like a bit of cheek on the backside, and it has been impossible. The one brand that I do know is great, Organic Basics. I bought one bikini from them and tried it on. I think they've been taken over by a bigger brand that is not at all sustainable, but the fit was just very weird. I always have this issue, even with the bikini that I'm wearing now, that the band around my body, around my torso is not tight enough for me, or the material of the bikini cups itself is too small. For this one from Organic Basics, I had to wrap the back strap around once more, to make it fit properly. And then there was this weird seam that seemed like my nipple, but it was too low. And the bottoms themselves were also not very nice. I don't like them at all, actually. <laughs> They are quite loose and they are the opposite of cheeky. I feel like when I dive into the water, they're just gonna basically slide off right away. So I sent that back and I could not find a good brand after that. Either a sustainable brand makes nice bikinis that are not cheeky or a sustainable brand doesn't make any sizes above sometimes even L, which is shocking. The one brand that I did find that went up to 3XL, turned out they just moved the numbers over. So my size, which is normally XL for bottoms, was actually with them 3XL or even they wouldn't fit. So that's not really being size inclusive at all. The things that I got today are from ASOS, which is not necessarily focused on sustainability, but they're not as bad as some other brands. And they are from local to here, so they didn't come shipping from like the US or Australia. Australia. I decided to go this way because I need some bikinis now that are nice fitting and comfortable and not falling apart But I'm gonna keep looking for that one brand that is sustainable size inclusive created in Europe and has the cheeky model We want to show our butt cheeks even though we are bigger what is wrong with that? Let's get to the trying on part. So this first bikini that I'm trying on is a lilac bikini that actually I don't think this color looks amazing on me. Also, I'm now noticing that the top and the bottom actually are two completely different colors. <laughs> so maybe I did not combine them correctly. I think in general, the bottoms are pretty good. I am wearing a thong underneath. So if you see anything dark blue, that is what you're seeing for hygiene reasons, because I want to be able to return something that doesn't fit right. I really actually like them. They are a little bit cutting into my skin, but maybe the fabric has to stretch a little bit more. The top though <laughs> is horrible. So it has cups, but the cups are actually cutting into my breast material. The straps are very, very cute, but they are non-adjustable on the back and they are way too loose. Maybe I will tie them up and then it is a little bit better, but then we still have this issue of this whole half of my, not half, but a big portion of my boob hanging out on the side. So this is definitely 
not gonna stay. Also, it has <laughs> zero support. <laughs> zero support. This is very weird. I mean, triangle bikinis don't give that much support either, but this feels even worse. It is a little bit chilly today, so sorry for the nips. Definitely not a winner. Let's move on to the next one. This next bikini is from the same brand as the lilac one, as you, apparently. They are very affordable, so I don't expect much from quality. And these bottoms are actually not officially a thong. They can be worn cheeky if you just pull them into your butt, but there's a little bit more fabric than I would like. They are very high leg. This top, however, is very flimsy feeling. I don't think it's giving any support at all. The bottom seam especially, it could use a little bit more enforcement. I feel like my boobs could flop out the bottom any moment. In general though, I like this fit, this design of the top. The shoulder straps are adjustable. Unfortunately, the waist part or the chest part is not adjustable. I would much rather have it being adjustable in all places so it fits any different body shapes because we're all so different. Already, as I'm telling you guys this, my boob is starting to hang out. So it's definitely not gonna stay with me. <laughs> I did get quite a few sets in black, so I have high hopes for some of these other ones. I do like that the bottom at the front has a kind of a V design going down a little bit. But like I said, I don't really like the backside having that much fabric. I just want it to be a full on thong really. This next bikini is a bit of a mix and match situation. The bottoms are from Berkshire and the top is from Miss Selfridge. But since they were both black, I thought they could mix and match well together. The bottoms are a thong model with again that V shape in the front. I think I do like it. It cuts in the skin a little bit at the top, but also you don't want it to slide off as you're diving into the water or something. So that feels pretty good. And the top actually feels really comfortable. I feel like with this design, it works well for someone with a wider set pair of breasts, if that makes sense, because everything is just gonna fit in nicely. I don't know. I've never worn this upside down version of a triangle bikini before. So this actually feels really supportive even though it is a bit of a different model than i'm used to so that's definitely a plus i'm very curious if you guys enjoy it or not if you do wear bikinis i don't know i think i'll have to try it on once more once my boyfriend is here get his opinion the top actually has this silicone edge which helps it from sliding down so that is really nice like the surf bikinis that i mentioned apparently some of you had never heard of surf bikinis <laughs> i started surfing 18 years ago so for me that is the normal world in general i'm pretty impressed with this one i think it might get to stay with me and all of these were very very affordable so that helps that i don't have to look at prices at all that one bikini brand that i was telling you about at the beginning i think a full bikini set was about 175 euros for one set of course i'm happy to pay more for sustainably created well-sourced materials but since they were kind of cheating on the size inclusivity i didn't want to give them my money let's try on some colors next this next one is definitely a favorite already. A bright pink bikini, ASOS design, and I love the colors. I absolutely love the fit of the bottom so far. I don't have a mirror here, so all that I can see is in the little search finder and just looking down, so I will need to check everything again in front of the mirror. But generally, I really like it. Unfortunately, the top is a little bit strange, as in I feel like things are coming out the center if you know what i mean i'm trying to push them back inside and also on this one side you can see this little white line that is the lining sorry it's starting to look very gloomy now the sun was out before and i think it's gonna rain in a few minutes so i have to hurry this up so i think the inside is just coming out a little bit and unfortunately i can't seem to adjust it so that it's hiding the white as well. It feels really comfortable. It makes me feel really happy and excited for summer. I think this color also works with my current quite light skin tone. I do get tan very easily in the summer, but I haven't been outside a lot. I like this one. What do you think? I think I'm gonna keep it. By the way, when I ask for your opinion and advice, I would love to hear what you think of the design of the bikini and if you would wear it. I don't need a whole essay on why I should or shouldn't wear something for my body shape. Last time there were a few people commenting a lot about you shouldn't wear this because of your your body shape or whatever. I will wear whatever the fuck I want. Please don't tell anyone on the internet what they should or shouldn't wear. That's 
no. That's just not very nice and not what these videos are for. I'm trying to show you what us with these curvier bodies can wear as bikinis and hopefully to inspire you to be a little bit more confident when you go out in your swimwear, whatever gender you are, to just be and enjoy and live your life. Let's just live our lives and enjoy. Okay, enough preaching. I definitely think I'm gonna keep this one. Let's try the next one. Oh no, it started to rain. Quickly, let's go in the greenhouse. Literally one minute later and the sun is out again. Let's try the next one. Ta-da! This one is a black one by Stradivarius. And I actually apparently accidentally ordered two of the same bottoms. On the pictures, they definitely looked like thongs, but they are not. Look how much fabric is there. And also they are quite low on the hip, which makes them less easy to wear as a thong. And also there's just more cutting in often. So I like to have a little bit higher of a leg so that you can, you don't have to wear it high, but you can. And also it gives you more space. Also, I just noticed that there's already a seam coming loose on this bottom. So that is not a great sign for the level of quality. The top I do like, it feels a little bit more sturdy with the bottom of the cups being a little bit more strong than most of these other ones that I've worn so far. The straps are adjustable. The back strap again is not, unfortunately. I normally take the little cup thingies that are inside out because I feel like they give my boobs a weird shape. They're not the right fit for me. But since I don't know if I'm gonna keep this, I've left them in for now. It does fit around everything <laughs> properly. It does also feel like it could give me some under boob quite quickly. Actually, after having worn the bottoms as a thong for a little while, I think they are quite comfortable. I think I might keep the one that is not damaged. If it is not damaged. Oh, on this one, I also see some loose threads. This is already the last bikini and it is a tiger print since I really like that on the other one. As soon as I opened it though, I noticed that when you stretch this fabric, it looks white very quickly. I've had this with yoga leggings as well in the past where it just loses the nice print design like this. It's super, super cute. But then when it is a bit stretched and it will stretch of course on your body because that's how it fits perfectly. It just looks a little bit off. So that's a shame. Again, I am wearing bottoms right now. <laughs> I accidentally bought two pairs. I think these bottoms, I think fit quite nicely. They are an actual thong. The only thing that I don't like about them, actually there's two things. The front seems to have quite a lot of fabric. The outside fabric on the crotch area seems to be bulging a little bit. It just feels a little bit too loose almost on the whole front part. And then the whiteness of the stretched fabric. The top I really do like. I just really enjoy regular triangle bikinis because you can adjust them. I've made the bottom strap quite tight. The neck straps pull the boobs up a little bit. The only thing with triangle bikinis that I struggle with sometimes is that the fabric is too small, which is why I did get an XL in this size. Although I'm not quite sure yet if I'm gonna keep this one because of the white stretchiness of the fabric. Let me know what you think about that. Unfortunately, the bottom also does that thing where the inside seam comes out or the inside fabric rolls over a little bit so it comes out. That's it for this haul. For me, the winner is definitely this pink bikini. I'm definitely gonna keep that one. I'm not quite sure about the bottoms of the tiger print or whatever it is, panther print. Hello, it's Rose from the future. And Mickey. I wanted to show you what I kept from this haul. The first thing I kept was the black Berkshire bottoms. They seem to fit well enough and I didn't keep any black tops but you can match a black bottom with anything so that's one. Of course I also had to keep the pink set even though after filming I was inside and I noticed in the shade this thing is completely see-through. You could see the whole shape of my nipple and I hadn't even gotten it wet yet. So this is more of a inside the house and garden bikini I'm afraid. And then lastly I also kept the panther print. Even with the stretching I I still like it enough to keep it. And I noticed actually for the bottoms, I told you I accidentally ordered two. The second one didn't have any of the bulging issues or the fabric moving. So that's why I decided to keep this as a set. In general, the fit and the quality was not super impressive. Of course, what can you expect for some of these bottoms were like eight euros or something. So it's definitely a low price, lower quality that is normal. I am really disappointed that I didn't find something yet for the sustainability size inclusive created in Euro cheeky 
set. Apparently that is hard to find or impossible, but I'm gonna keep looking. If you have any tips for cool brands that I should check out, please leave them in the comments below. And that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, leave a nice comment below and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. Woo, I'm dropping one. <laughs> Bye friends.